good morning, Taz team. I just wanted to have a little uh, chat with you just to give you a little video of uh, what the expectations are in relation to assessment and uh, timetabling for term two. Just sort of go through it, just to practice my video skills as well as um, you know having a chat with you guys. So from Kathy A. Gorman, this is the email that's been sent. Um, this is the document that he, she has sent. So in terms of timetabling, we'll see that from term two, and we talked about this the other day, there's only going to be three periods. So three periods are 80 minutes long. Um, and then we have a bit of an afternoon session as well, which is pretty much another period um, where we can um, have some time for preparation and um, talk to our uh, mentorees and um, those sorts of things. I also wanted to um, maybe have um, some faculty time as well. Um, and I'm thinking on Wednesdays, um, we should have maybe a, a small faculty meeting from two o'clock um, just to have a bit of a chat um, about what's going on. If we've got any issues or problems, we can have a bit of a talk, but I only want that meeting to be, um, you know, 10, 15 minutes long. I don't want us to be um, uh, talking too long. And uh, also, um, it's been suggested to us that we do it um, once a week, just to touch base and just have a bit of a bit of a chat. With our um, assessment, um, we want to, and I'll just keep going through here to assessment. We've got down here that there's been some changes with um, assessment, so there'll be no. Uh, summative tasks for term two. So all our assessment is going to be just uh, formal um, assessment tasks, uh, sorry, uh, formative assessment tasks. So all um, assessment um, has been put on hold or suspended for term two. Now in relation to year 12 uh, for the HSC, we, we will um, have them just doing a collection of different um, uh, formative tasks. Um, we, if we have something like, for example, um, Tommy or Andrew, you guys have uh, computer subjects. If you guys um, are still running, um, you know, uh, your tasks uh, for um, term two that um, that may be uh, able to be still done on the computer, and there's no real um, dramas there, then yes, let's move through with those particular tasks um, and, you know, keep teaching currently what we're teaching to um, to get those marks completed. Um, so that'd be fine. But for the rest of us, um, like I'm thinking about my, my um, tasks that I need to do for vet construction, um, you know, that may change a little bit. So we just need to have conversations around, you know, what, what can change and what can happen, and how we um, how we um, orchestrate those particular tasks. So that's our Year Twelve HSC uh, classes with Year Eleven and um, Year Eleven to Year Seven. Um, again, um, all the uh, formal assessment has been suspended. So um, we just need to get uh, three to four pieces of evidence um, across the 10 weeks um, so that we can, I suppose, gain enough evidence to do an accurate report for the students. Um, so again, we need to make sure that we um, collaborate in regards to um, courses that we teach with um, um, other teachers, um, just to make sure that um, we are doing the same tasks um, but then on top of that as well, we need to make sure that we are, when we're marking and giving feedback, that we're doing the same sort of um, scale. So um, that means that, you know, what constitutes an A uh, for a particular task, uh, well, let's make sure that's consistent across all the classes. So we just need to make sure that we're uh, talking and, um, and uh, helping each other in relation to those. 
Uh, basically, um, that gives us a bit of more of a breakdown, okay, in terms of um, uh, our year groups. Be mindful as, as well that, um, oh, I, did, I left this out before, but the year 12 are still doing the trial HSC. So that is for term three. I think it's um, week four to week six. Um, for the trial HSC um, students, so they'll be still doing that. Um, and we may, um, and it hasn't been talked about um, really, we may have, um, um, well, Year 11 may have exams, but we'll, we'll sort of see where we are in terms of that. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you as well that um, what I've put together um, for my year 12 class, I put together a learning task for my uh, brick and block test that I've done. Now with that, I did that through uh, Microsoft Forms, which was, um, which was a great um, learning tool for, for my students. So with these guys, they just went through and answered a whole bunch of questions. Some of these questions were multiple choice. And some of these questions I went through and marked. Um, so from 19, um, I had there as well. Um, they had to enter the answer. Now, the thing is with Microsoft Forms, um, it doesn't um, really, like if you're putting it into a sentence structure, then it doesn't really identify um, unless you put those particular words in. So if you haven't got those exact words, in here, then it doesn't identify it as correct. So we just need to be mindful of that. So all these students were marked wrong from these questions, um, but I went through and I actually marked them um, uh, from the Excel document that it produces. So there's a little Excel document there and that shows me what those students have written down. So from question 19 onwards, um, that really helped me as well, um, get those and then put all that into Compass, into a learning task and uh, these students um, got their marks here. Some of them did not um, finish, I did not get above 85%, so they therefore have to do um, a separate task. So I'll have to get them to do a test again. Um, so that's it for now. I'll just um, leave it at that, but I just thought I'd put that together so you can have a bit of a, a look. Thank you.